I'm Dr. Lamelli, and today we're here to demonstrate to you how to pour up a triple tray impression. So you start with a metal impression tray, and then you get your impression. Now to pour it up, you're going to need the Monotrack mounting system. So it comes with four components, which you can find here. So currently I'm in the soil handling room. And so this is the room where you throw your gowns away. And so on the opposing side, there is a container that's going to have all the components. You'll need to get two of the bars and then you'll need to get a male and a female component here. In addition to that, on the side, there is baggies, which has a connector as well as a screw. These will be utilized if you're doing a distal extension. And this is what the screws look like. In addition to having this helpful video, which will go over each step for utilizing the Monotrack system, there's also a handout that can be found pinned to the pinup board in each one of the labs. So this is an excellent example of what a final product will look like. It will allow you to create the perfect ideal occlusion and you'll be able to create a crown that can essentially, for the die, each component comes out very easily. And so it, it really simplifies the entire process. And here, they have opposing contact and the most distal, so it's a distal stop that they have, so the additional pin is not necessarily utilized. The first step is going to be to trim it parallel. So we want to get rid of these little ridges and bumps that we have, make it very flat. And this is going to be a slightly different example. We're not actually using a heavy and light body impression. We're using the putty because all we're doing is trying to send them an image of the level occlusal plane that we made for this provisional. Okay, now once we have it a little bit more leveled, we can pour it up. When the base is fully seated down on the hinge, you have to press really hard you'll see when you close the articulator that there is a small gapping. So if you overclose it, you can have a little bit of bending that occurs. To avoid that, we have the screw. Now you can use a screwdriver to screw it in because it won't go past a certain point. to be able to get it to proper closure. Now, when you pour it up, you're only going to pour up the base, one base first, separated from the hinge. We're gonna spray some debubbleizer into it since it's PBS. Okay, and then we can blow up excess. From here, we are mixing our mounting stone. And so for this particular situation, since we are just doing this to show the occlusion, we do not have to use the vacuum mixer, but in the traditional sense, when you're doing um, the jade stone, the type three, you would be doing it for a master impression. You would use your vacuum mixer.
that we're getting all the bubbles out. So notice how as we're seeding it, we want to try to get it as level as possible. We want the screw to be exposed on the back end. So we can even just move it just a tiny bit to make sure that we have that good clearance. And we're just going to let this dry now, nice and parallel, as parallel as possible. Now that the die side of the impression is set, we are going to attach the flexible hinge to the base and you want to make sure that you're snapping it in. Do you see how there's a little bit of a rise when it first goes down? You want to make sure that you're fully engaging it and you hear the snap. Once that is done, you're going to flip it over and we're going to fill the opposing side as well as the opposing base. Now we're going to turn on the vibrator and slowly start to trickle in. Now we're going to engage the hinges and then we will fully close. We see we have a little bit of space so I'm going to put a little bit more. Uh, now I'm just going to let them close down. So it's fully closed. And remove the excess. Once the impression is set, you can then separate the impression from the model. After you have done that, then you'll take off the sleep the external aspect of it and you're going to be popping it off from the back wrapping around. Now once that has been completed you can then separate the hinges and then you will act to tap out the back side and see as we slowly tap how we're having a little bit of gapping that's occurring here and then you can separate it.
for joining us today on how to pour up and mount a triple tray on the monotrack articulator. Please join us for some other videos. Um, and although this was not for a die prepped impression, you can use the same technique for any kind of crown that you, you do. Uh, or if you only need to do one two, say you need to do a wax up or you need to see if you have the proper occlusion, especially for those juniors who might be doing uh, crown preps in two appointments. This is a great way to just quickly verify everything, pour it up. You can have something where you're not gonna necessarily make something off of it, but you can use it as diagnostics to talk to your faculty with. Thanks guys.